All right, so we're going to talk about a form of racism that um, is kind of different. Tell about your experience. Um, so one, just just a singular event. Um, when I was a when I was an outwardly practicing Muslim, uh, wearing full hijab. I came back from Morocco into the States um, via LAX, Los Angeles Airport, and this was 2007. They randomly selected me for a baggage check and were grilling me with all sorts of inappropriate questions, and um, and I, I had, like, real fear in that moment that they were going to detain me, that they were going, you know, I, I didn't know what was going to happen, but it was... It was a wake up call and it was really scary and I knew I knew just in that moment what other you know um Muslim women you know who are obviously Muslim who wear full hijab and you know even just brown women um from anywhere what they must go through and it was terrifying yeah terrifying and um yeah, it just it just opened my eyes to a whole nother aspect of life that I never knew before, but I did then. And, you know, I think it was supposed to happen so that I could so that I could appreciate what other people go through. Right, and, right. I, I think like in terms of me trying to understand what a woman like like kinda like goes through, I kinda had to see you like go through some things to kinda get it, you know? Mm -hmm. So like so like I think to understand what it's like to be like a Muslim, you kinda have to be a Muslim. Yeah. And it's kind of fucked up, you know. It really, really is. And I, I really, really thank you for trying to be understanding. But you have a very, very unique experience. Yeah. It's a very unique yeah, experience. Like yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not something that you Cause, hear. Because otherwise, often. I'm, you know, average white girl right. on the outside. Yeah. Even but, though I'm not technically. But again, you but should what? never judge a book by its cover. That's right. Never judge a book by its cover. Nope.